The objective of Choosing Wisely Canada is really to engage physicians and patients in conversations about the overuse of unnecessary tests, treatments, and procedures. This is in order to help patients make informed choices and to get the right care they need, but to avoid tests that might not be necessary or might even be harmful. Okay. Choosing Wisely started in the United States. The American Board of Internal Medicine Foundation began it two years ago, actually exactly at this time. And they worked with the medical societies in the United States. Now there are 60 of them and asked each of these societies to create a list of five things in their discipline for which there was excellent scientific evidence of overuse or harm. We modified that campaign, bringing it to Canada and worked with our Canadian medical specialty societies, the Canadian Medical Association and nine other societies to get this ball rolling. There are nine beginning today and we're launching today, but after that there are about 23 others that are waiting and working on their lists. And in fact, what's been really exciting about this campaign is the extremely positive uptake by physicians and physician leaders who have come to us and said that they want to participate in this. Physicians really know this is the right thing for our patients and they're eager to play a role. At the moment, I think often patients have the view that if a doctor gives them a prescription or gives them a test, that that's the way they get care. If you go home after the doctor's visit and your family says, well, what did you get? And there was no prescription or no treatment or no uh, test, a patient might think they didn't get what they needed. And we're trying to shift that culture and encourage the conversations where physicians might say, well, you really don't need this test and here's some material you can read about that so that a patient will understand that more is not always better. One might be patients with low back pain. We understand that unless they're specific red flags, things that we think um, might be indications of a problem, that really getting an, an x-ray or an MRI is not necessary and in fact can be inconvenient or even lead to additional unnecessary tests. So we would discourage it. It doesn't help people get better faster. So that would be one example. You know, I think it's quite important to understand that this is a culture change, that we are beginning a voyage of trying to encourage physicians to have these conversations with patients and patients to be receptive to this message. But we live in a society where more has been considered better for many years. We buy bigger cars, we have bigger TV sets, and we're trying to counter a message that is quite embedded in society. This is not gonna happen overnight. We need the support of many of these societies, and we're very excited that physicians are taking a leadership role in bringing this message forward.